Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll show you how to create your own custom presets for CaptionCAD for DaVinci Resolve. So if you're using the same colors, fonts, other settings again and again, then saving them as a custom preset can save you a ton of time and make those easily reusable. This tutorial dives a little bit deeper into the technical side of things, but don't worry, I'll guide you through every step in detail such that you can follow along easily. In DaVinci Resolve, you'll find the default CaptionCAD presets under the CaptionCAD section. Additionally, I've created a custom CAD section containing variants of the presets I've tailored to my specific needs. If you'd like to create your own custom collections of presets, the first step is locating the Fusion Templates folder in your Resolve installation. The location depends on your operating system. You'll know you've found the correct folder if it contains a file named CaptionCatTitles.drfx. This file holds all the default CaptionCat presets. My templates folder also contains a second DRFX file with the custom templates, but let's delete this one now such that I can show you step by step how to create it. To create a custom collection, start by duplicating this DRFX file. Then rename the duplicates extension from DRFX to zip. Although DRFX stands for DaVinci Resolve Effects, it's essentially a zip file, so renaming allows you to unzip it. I'll unzip it by double-clicking the file. Once unzipped, you can delete the zip file itself. Inside the extracted folder, you'll see a directory structure. Here, Edit, Titles, Sketch and Cat, and within that folder are subfolders Landscape and Vertical and Square, each containing further subfolders for different caption categories. This mirrors the folder structure displayed in the Effects panel of Resolve's Edit page, where you'll also find Titles, Sketch and Cat, with bins for landscape and vertical and square. Each preset consists of two files, a .setting file which defines the preset and a .png file with the same name which serves as the preview image for the preset. Next, let's rename the folder CaptionCat to Custom Cats. When you do this, DaVinci Resolve's effects panel updates instantly. Now alongside the original CaptionCat bin, you'll see a new bin labeled Custom Cats. The Caption Cat bin still contains the presets from the original DRFX file, while the Custom Cats bin shows the presets from our newly created Custom Cats folder. At first glance, the contents of the Custom Cats bin appears identical to the original Caption Cat bin, which makes sense since we copied the presets. However, if you drag one of these templates into the timeline, you'll notice that nothing renders. This happens because CaptionCAD templates rely on these safe zone images, which are necessary for proper rendering. And for technical reasons, these images are accessible only when the templates are inside a DRFX file. Once we finish customizing the templates, we'll repackage them into a DRFX file to make them functional again. But before that, let's move on to customizing the templates. Let's say we want to create a variant of one of the 3D templates in the landscape bin. To keep things simple, we can delete unnecessary files. First, delete the entire vertical and square folder, and then inside the landscape folder, delete everything except the 3D subfolder. Finally, inside the 3D folder, remove everything except one of the PNG preview images. At this point, the custom cats bin disappears from the effects panel again. This is because the custom cats folder no longer contains any setting files. So let's create a setting file for our custom preset now. To do this, drag a template you want to customize into the timeline and adjust it however you like. For example, let's change the font to shadows into light, set the text color to white and adjust the highlight color to our usual Mamu World Orange. Of course, you can modify any other parameters to suit your needs. Once you've made your adjustments, select the template clip in the timeline and switch to the Fusion tab. Here, you'll see the template represented by two nodes. The left node contains the template itself. So we right-click on this node, go to Settings and choose Save As. When the Save dialog opens, it will likely default to the Fusion Settings folder. Navigate one level up to the Fusion folder, where you should see the Templates folder containing the content of your unzipped DRFX file. Inside the 3D folder, we save the custom settings file. 
Let's name it Mama World Orange as an example. Now, if you return to the Edit tab, you'll see that the Custom Cats bin is back and it contains your new Mama World Orange template. However, the template doesn't yet have a preview image. Remember, we kept one preview PNG image earlier. To assign it to your custom template, rename the image file so that it matches the name of your setting file exactly. Once that's done, Resolve will display the preview image in the effects panel. If you want to create a custom preview image, feel free to edit the PNG file in your favorite image editing software. Just ensure the image size remains 104 times 58 pixels. You can add more templates by saving additional setting files if you like. You can also rename the bins to organize your templates better. For instance, let's rename Landscape to Brands and 3D to Mamo World. As you can see, the changes are reflected immediately in Resolve's Effects panel. However, there's one important thing to keep in mind. Do not flatten the folder structure. The templates rely on the safe zone images, which must remain in a specific location. Specifically, the setting file expects the safe zone images to be two levels higher in the folder hierarchy. For example, from the Mamo World folder inside the brands bin, the setting file goes two levels up to the custom cats folder, where the safe zone images must be located. Ensure this structure is maintained or the templates won't work properly. Once you've created all the templates you want, it's time to package everything back into a DRFX file. To do this, zip the entire edit folder and then rename the resulting zip file to DRFX. For example, customcats.drfx. Then delete the unzipped folder, leaving only the DRFX file. Now, if you open the Mama World bin in Results Effects panel and drag the template into the timeline, you'll see that everything works perfectly. The errors we encountered earlier are resolved and your custom templates are fully functional. And that's all you need to know to create your own custom presets in CaptionCAD for DaVinci Resolve. If you've got any further questions, leave me a comment. I'm Matthias from MamaWorld.com and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.